Yeah. 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 Yeah
I just love how pulled up and smart you are. Yeah, yes, because I was out of probably. I like it, girl. A while, but you know it was some shoulders in that room. Oh, baby. <laughs> and backs. You know it was yeah. a lot of backs and necks and shoulders in that room. And we My just got to talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, well we then. We just got to talk about it. I mm. seen a number of backs yesterday. <laughs> I said, My God. My God. Let's see the backs is here today. Yeah. Whitney Merciless. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Whit Whit. Whit Whit is down. Oh, my God. Whit Whit got a back on him, too. got a back on him, child. We're going to get to see it later. Well, thanks, guys, for all that you do in the community. It's really well respected. Yeah, it is. Hope that you continue with your efforts. Because let's get to the top of our daily feed, guys. So we had to switch things up. This is a. A good and bad story. Oh, right. In a press conference yesterday, law enforcement officials announced that 33 people mm. were arrested for sex trafficking as the city of Atlanta rep prepares for the big game on Sunday. And apparently, we know this is an issue that affects big game host cities annually. According to the New York Post, uh, 94 men were arrested last year in Minneapolis. Mm. And in 2017, 100 arrests were made oh in Houston wow. for sex trafficking. So I, I'm, I'm a huge <laughs> advocate for eradicating sex yes, trafficking. Atlanta has become pretty much the, the hub. No, it is. Uh, because of uh, the, uh, our airport here. And if you see something, yes. please say something. I it's agree. not just for the, the law officials. We have to be vigilant as well. And I it's agree. not just girls. It's yeah, boys. That is true. Yes. That is yes. But I got to ask you, ladies, why is it something, is there something particular about the NFL? What is it that's, that the NFL attracts I this type women. of behavior? Yeah, what young women. What is it about the NFL? No, is I just think that this is just one of those. It's a big event. It's a big, a big event. event. Yes. It could be anything. Yes. It could be, be NBA. Yes. 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 Right. Exactly. Yeah, and yes. the parties, parties and yeah. everything. Okay. So it's generating a lot more mm -hmm. people. A lot of young women. Coming in from out of town and other countries probably. And confusion. Oh, okay. Confusion, too. So it's so many, so right. it's easier to be. Yeah. Yes, it's easier to hide it yes. because oh. there's so much going on. Yes. He's yes. in plain sight. Yes. yes, and for them, so much money to be made. So oh, please be vigilant. If something. you see something again, say something. Well, we got a shout out. Sierra, that's saying something, who is looking nothing less than regal on the cover Always. of Come oh On, God. Oh my God. Yeah. So bad. Come on. Oh, my gosh. She is living her absolute best she life. Amazing. I mean, just up there with the stallions, yes. too. I mean, my oh, God. Oh, come cheek, on through. Cheekbones. Yes. Come on, cheekbones. Yes, and the article, she talks about motherhood and how it changed her as an artist, her upcoming album, and her love for performing. And you are just doing it, she Sierra. Mm. Sometimes you just got to go through the fire, yeah. honey. That's got to be 46 <laughs> inches on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she get that from? Yes, she looks fantastic. She, she looks fantastic. We love you, Cece. We love you. Well, on a more serious note, Stephon Clark, uh, the family of Stephon Clark, has filed a $20 million federal lawsuit alleging that race played a role mm. in the excessive mm. force that left that young man shot eight times mm. and killed by Sacramento police officers in his grandparents' backyards. Of course, our thoughts and prayers are continuing to be with the family. We yeah. hope that justice will prevail in this case. Of course, money will never bring anybody Ooh, back, right. but that will give them some sort of solace uh, in this horrific, horrific mm. uh, incident. So um, we definitely send our prayers there. Octavia Spencer, she spoke at the Sundance Film Festival and shared that LeBron James stepped in during her negotiations with Netflix for the Madam C.J. Walker movie there to ensure that she received equal pay. She stated that we need all our male counterparts to be in the fight with right. us. We commend LeBron and encourage other men mm -hmm. to be allies for their sisters yes. on issues like equal pay as we continue to shatter the glass ceiling. All right now, yeah. LeBron. I told y'all. Honey. The man is just, he can't do no wrong no more. The turn up is real. He's in the you can't do no wrong era. It's yes. like him, Beyonce, <laughs> Oprah, yes. you know, people like that, you know, uh, Ava DuVernay, like they can't do no wrong. And you know another person? Who? Who's kind of getting in there? Drake. He Drake, reportedly, yeah, he reported Steph like, Curry uh, in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, Drake no. gave some two McDonald's employees, uh, he showed them how much he was loving it. Right. He tipped the two ladies who rang his order up, and while a fan initially said that he gave them 10 grand, mm -hmm. uh, People Magazine confirms that it was $100 per employee. So it added up to about 10. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. How you know if he gave him $5, it's still yeah, good. It is, yeah, yeah. Right. Cause I gotta tell you, I don't normally tip when I, I go don't to McDonald's. I don't tip when I go to McDonald's. McDonald's a lot, I don't but tip you know, when I want a chicken to. nugget, I might go and have one, but I never tip. I Not drink you, making us look bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, but I'm sure the the young women and men yeah, there that was yeah, very nice. appreciate it. Yeah, Wendy's that was, was very nice. Thank you, Wendy. Oh my God! Send us your thoughts on our daily feed at Sister Circle <laughs> on all social media platforms.